So, hello students, welcome back to SciMath videos. Uh, it is an important video for all the uh, students maybe from 8th standard even the uh, PU students must watch this video because this is a very important video on the basic of uh, understanding what is Pythagoras theorem, uh, how it is used, what are the applications and how to understand it in a proper way. Okay, because uh, this uh, the concept of Pythagoras theorem is used widely okay, in all the fields. Now, uh, let us understand what is this uh, Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So, now we all know this Pythagoras theorem is applied to a right angle triangle and what is a right angle triangle? We all know there are varieties of triangle equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, scalene triangle. Okay. So, similarly we also have a right angle triangle in which okay, we know if it is a triangle. Okay. So, this is a right angle triangle okay, in which angle if you see this is a right angle triangle. Okay. Here if you see this angle is 90 degree. Okay. This line and this line is making 90 degree they are perpendicular to each other that means this is 90 degree. Okay. So, now can I can I can I not also can I also draw like this it can also be it can also be like this. Okay here may be 90 again perpendicular side I can also draw like this ok the perpendicular can be here ok. So, right angle triangle is a special type of a triangle where one angle is already known right one angle is already known it is 90 degree it is already known. But when you uh, if you equilateral triangle we know it is 60 60 60 but many of the triangle we generally do not know the angles what the angles inside them ok. So, but right angle triangle is a special triangle because one angle is already 90 in it ok. It no need to find only it is directly it is 90 because it is right angle triangle one angle in the triangle the perpendicular side must make 90 degree ok. Now, the side exactly triangle means we should have three sides ok we all know that. So, now the side exactly opposite to the 90 degree is all always all always called as the hypotenuse ok it is called as the hypotenuse it is called as the hypotenuse the side exactly opposite to the 90 degree here this is hypotenuse if I just put the naming A B and C ok here also P Q and R in both the cases hypotenuse R what AC is the hypotenuse here, here the side PR is the hypotenuse. The other two sides are called as perpendicular sides ok we can call these two sides we can call as perpendicular sides or just other two sides ok. Now, this is all about right angle triangle ok right angle triangle what you should know one angle is 90 degree and the side exactly opposite to the uh, this 90 degree ok is called as hypotenuse and this hypotenuse will always be the biggest length ok. When you compare the three length here of course, obviously the hypotenuse is the biggest one right. See this is the biggest one, this is the biggest one here, this is the biggest one here ok. So, these three things you should know right angle triangle means we should know what one angle is 90 degree and uh, the angle exactly opposite to the side exactly opposite 90 degree is what is hypotenuse and hypotenuse is the longest ok is the longest side in the right angle triangle. These are three basic things that you should know. Now, let us move ahead then what is Pythagoras theorem? Pythagoras theorem is applied only for the right angle triangle itself ok. So, Pythagoras theorem is a very important theorem which was uh, proved this it is proved mathematically geometrically by Pythagoras was a mathematician in Greece. Similarly, in India contemporary in the same time in India in many of the civilization similar uh, proof has been done. In India Baudayana uh, is a person uh, who again brought the same proof for uh, right angle triangle as the Pythagoras theorem. But let us now uh, since we have Pythagoras theorem in detail let us study that now. If you see here I told you the Pythagoras theorem is applied only for the right angle triangle. Then what does the Pythagoras theorem states? Before going into the Pythagoras theorem, there is one thing that you need to know the squares and square roots. I hope you all know what is squares and square roots. Okay, what is squares and square roots? One square is one. You are just multiplying the same number again. Okay, two square 
is what 2 into 2 is nothing but for you are multiplying the same number again ok it is not addition square is the multiplication of the same number similarly I can write 3 square is 9 3 3 is a 9 4 square is 16 similarly I can go up to infinite number infinite number even the squares can be taken to negative number also positive number ok so let us see the positive numbers right now because we are dealing with length the lens will always be the uh, all this you know the sides are all we are dealing with the lens so length cannot be negative it always be the positive values so let us see the squares of the positive numbers so it is always better to by heart and remember 1 square to 20 square and also square roots are the same what is square roots square root is just the opposite of this okay see now root 4 what is root 4 is 2 okay just the opposite square root how did i get 2 it is same like this 4 is i can put 2 square square and root cancels off and we are remained with 2 similarly okay root 9 is 3 square root is just the opposite of the squares okay similarly root 16 root 16 is 4 i can go about 20 square 20 square is 400 20 into 20 root 400 is 20 okay so it is always better to know from 1 to 20 and 25 also 25 also will help us square of 25 is 625 okay square root of 625 is always 25 okay it is better to know 1 to 20 squares and the square roots of the same and the square of uh, 25 it is 625 square root of 625 is 25 okay this you need to uh, remember okay why to apply to just simplify it, it will help us to simplify the uh, in the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, what is the Pythagoras theorem? The Pythagoras theorem states that it is a statement given first. It states that the square of the hypotenuse, okay, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the squares of the the squares of the sum of the other two sides or other other perpendicular sides. What does this mean? Okay, I'll just write here now. I will take this triangle ok what does it says it says the square of hypotenuse AC is the hypotenuse ok AC is the hypotenuse AC square is equal to the square of the sum of the other two sides ok AB is the remaining side square plus BC is the remaining side this is the Pythagoras theorem application for this triangle I have applied the Pythagoras theorem for this triangle what? square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of square of other two sides see sum of square of other two sides correct so this is the pythagoras theorem here okay now if at all in this triangle i just mention i just i'll just say this length is b and this length is a and this length is uh, let, let me mention this is c and this is b okay how to apply the pythagoras theorem i'll just imagine that this length is c the length value is c the length is p uh, a and the length here is b how do i apply pythagoras theorem the square of the hypotenuse it is c square the length i am imagining the length as c the value of uh, the length uh, the value of hypotenuse is c is equal to square of a square plus b square square of other two sides okay now what now for this triangle okay see here i just mentioned it m n o okay how to apply the pythagoras theorem Okay, I'll just first I'll apply Pythagoras theorem. I told you always hypotenuse is opposite to the 90 degree. So N O square is equal to other two sides M N square plus M O square. Okay. So now I hope you understood what is the application how to uh, uh, understand how to apply Pythagoras theorem for right angle triangle. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of square of other two sides. Okay. Now let us put the values and see now. Okay. How to let us see the uh, just see how to put values and substitute and get the answers okay now how it is used how actually we can use the pythagoras theorem okay so now just imagine there is one right angle triangle okay i'll just write a b c and somebody gives somebody tells me the value of this is 3 3 centimeter the value of this is 4 centimeter and they're asking me find the value of this means what is this it is nothing but the hypotenuse find the value of hypotenuse how to find 
I can apply the Pythagoras theorem. But in case of other triangle, if the 2 is given and 1 is not given, it is very difficult to find the other one. We should imply many other mathematical procedures. But in case of the right angle triangle, it is very easy because when 2 is given, one more side is easy to find because we have a relationship between, there is a relation between the hypotenuse and other two sides. Correct? It is a relation that is helping us to find the other one. Okay. Now, how? Let me apply the Pythagoras theorem. What did it say? The square of the hypotenuse. AC square is equal to sum of the square of other two sides. AB square plus BC square. Okay. So, what is AC square? I do not know. I have to find it. I will just keep AC square itself. What is AB square? What is AB? AB is 3 centimeter. 3 square. The formula it is square. I have to put square. Next, BC square. BC square. What is the length of BC? It is 4. It is 4 square. So, AC square is equal to 3 square is 9. 4 square is 16. You have to, that is why you have to know 3 3 is, a, is 9, 4 4 is 16. Now, AC square is nothing but 25. Is this the final answer? No. I want the length of AC, not the square of AC. I want the length of AC. What to do? AC is equal to this square. This square here goes to the other side, becomes square root. So, it becomes square root of 25. So, what is AC? AC is equal to 5 centimeter. Okay, I can now write this as 5 centimeter. Understood? See, it is so easy. It helps us to find the other length. Okay, two length given, I can find other length. Now, if at all, what if I have one more triangle? Okay, I have one more triangle P, Q, and R. Okay, and this is given uh, 6, and this is given 10. And this is unknown. They are telling find this, find the length of this. Okay. How to find? I will again apply the Pythagoras theorem. Okay. It says that the square of hypotenuse. So, this is the hypotenuse here, the longest one, 10 is the longest one, and 90 degree opposite. So, PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. Okay. Just squaring. Okay. So, now what is PR square? It is given. It is 10 and square. What is PQ square? PQ is 6 and 6 in the square is in the formula put square. What is QR? That is the unknown. That is what I have to find. Okay. What is 10 square? 10 square is 100. What is 6 square? 6 square is 36. What is QR square? I have to find it. Now what? I need QR only. So send all the numbers to the one side. So it is 100. Okay. Minus 36. The 36 goes to the left right side becomes negative. So, QR square. So, what is QR square? QR square is equal to 100 minus 36. What is 100 minus 36? It is 64. So, I just want QR, not QR square. So, what you will do? The square will go to the right hand side. It becomes square root. Square root of 64. What number if you multiply twice, you get 64. It is 8. Therefore, QR is nothing but 8. Okay. So, QR is 8. So, it is 8 centimeter or, or meter whatever is given in the question okay you understood how the same problem if at all 8 is given and 6 is unknown same procedure okay you not you need to know how to simplify okay now if you see here both side there are n see this 3 3 4 5 okay this 3 4 5 6 8 and 10 okay then 5 12 and 13, 7, 24 and 25 and uh, 8, 15 and 17. What are these? What is this sir is writing few numbers? These are called as the Pythagorean triplets. What is the meaning of triplets? Triplet, the meaning of Pythagorean triplet is this number satisfy the Pythagoras uh, statements. It satisfies the definition. How see? 3 and 4 answer is 5. So, 3, 4, 5. 6 and 8 answer the hypotenuse will be 10. Similarly, you can check for 5, 3 and 13. But the last number should be hypotenuse. The last number should be hypotenuse. Just, just see 5, 12 and 13. Okay. Just I will do one. If at all, somebody if at all somebody gives you a triangle as this as this see 5, 12 and 13, and they are telling us we have to prove it as a right angle triangle. Prove this is a right angle triangle. And they are not telling us, they are not giving 90 degree, and they are not telling us whether it is right angle or not, but telling, they are asking us to prove it. But they are given the three length. Okay. Let us prove whether it is right angle or not, right angle or not using the triplet, using our formula of Pythagoras. Okay. So, P, Q, R. 
okay so now how to use the pythagoras theorem we know always the biggest number the bigger number will be the hypotenuse so what i will do qr square okay is equal to pq square plus r pr square like that why why i wrote qr square here i feel uh, i feel and this is only the hypotenuse because the, you know i had already told you in right angle triangle the, the biggest number will be hypotenuse okay see here so 13 square is equal to pr square pr is 12 square pr square is 5 square 13 square is 169 12 square is 144 5 square is 25 just add the right hand side you will get 169 see 169 and 160 what does this mean the given length are satisfying the pythagoras theorem that means what this must be a right angle triangle you are understanding this must be a right angle triangle because these values are satisfying our right angle theorem uh, definition okay similarly see these are few values if you just go to google and type the pythagoras triplets there are thousands of pythagoras triplets okay so similarly 5 12 13 7 12 if you you can all verify this okay just keep 25 in the hypotenuse side other you just square square and just see you must get this it will become equal so these are the pythagorean triplets okay this concept whatever i thought now it's a very important concept even for your trigonometry for your coordinate geometry okay for your surface area volume and also this chapter and also your triangles chapter and obviously this is the important concept that you need for your higher classes or also in your college days for anything because it's widely used okay now uh, see always it does not mean you should get one a whole number itself one whole number always whole number only you will not get okay you will not get always a rational number you might also get a irrational number how sir okay so just imagine a triangle okay with one and one one centimeter in the opposite side what is the what is the hypotenuse we know the square of the hypotenuse okay i'll just mention it as abc the square of the hypotenuse is ac square okay ac square is equal to so ac square will be equal to one square plus one square correct the square of other two sides what is one square it is one what is one square again one so ac square so what is ac ac is equal ac square is equal to two ac is equal to square root of two see the value of here is square root of 2 so square uh, square root 2 i thought square root, square root 2 is a irrational number i hope you know what is irrational number irrational numbers are the numbers which, which are non recurring and non terminating you just put two root 2 in your calculator okay you will get a number such that they are non terminating means they never end and non recurring no numbers there is no particular repetition pattern in that okay so these are irrational numbers root 2 okay so why i am telling because not always the pyth the hypotenuse should be what it should not always be one number it can be a square root number also okay here because square root is not a perfect square i can't come back like root 4 i can come back to 2 root 16 i can come back to 4 but root 2 i can't come back okay perfect i won't get a perfect number i'll get a number an irrational number a decimal irrational number okay so this is about entire thing about the pythagoras theorem how it is how to understand it okay you need to know the, both the ways this apply to right angle triangle the hypotenuse what is hypotenuse the opposite hypotenuse is 90 degree the opposite hypotenuse is the biggest length then how to apply the hypo pythagoras theorem then how to check okay how to check the pythagoras theorem and what is pythagorean triplets and if two sides are given how to find the other side these are the important concept that our time again come for you okay and i told you in all these chapters in 10th standard or higher classes so it's an important video so practice take some more pythagoras triplet like this it would be better to buy hard this it will be very handy in your uh, many of your trigonometry will be very handy but remember this pythagorean triplet and practice just put two numbers here and just verify you'll get 13 or not just put two numbers 7 and 25 to a triangle and verify you'll get 24 or not just practice two or three problems and definitely you will never forget and you should never forget this concept of uh, pythagoras understanding the concept of pythagoras theorem so thanks for watching if you not subscribed kindly subscribe to our channel okay it is a channel only for mathematics and science and also few science experiments miracle busting so many other activities also happen in this channel so kindly subscribe and stay tuned share this video among your friends and circle so that they also understand the basics okay we in our channel we stick to basics and we want to make our viewers 
creative thinkers they should be a thinkers they should not feel max is a burden they should feel max they should enjoy mathematics and they should uh, properly understand max this is the agenda of this channel so kindly share the video and subscribe bye all of you